Hi, I'm Alan Redinger, author of Speed Vegan, a collection of recipes that anybody can do in 30 minutes or less. Here's a pantry item that I like to have on hand all the time. It's called chipotle chili puree. Basically, all it is is the chilies that you get in the can at the supermarket that are in a sauce. They're called chipotles en adobo. Uh, and what you do is you put them in a blender and blast them to smithereens, strain out the seeds, and it's done. It's very quick, but even just a tiny amount of this in a, in a sauce or a little bit in a soup or in a, even in a salad dressing can really perk it up and give it a unique kind of smoky, southwesty Mexican. Sometimes you can't even identify it, but it gives it a nice little back flavor. So this is how you do it. This is a favorite of mine. Uh, some of you are probably familiar with chipotle chilies. You can get them in a can, like a little seven ounce can at the supermarket, different brands. I'm not going to advertise any of them. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put them in the blender. This is three cans. And you want to stand back when you're doing this because the smell, if it goes up in your nose, can make you sneeze. Smithereens. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is strain it. You want to get the seeds and the bits of pulp out of there. The seeds, particularly if they haven't already gotten pulverized, they can be rather unpleasant coming out. Chipotle has a really nice smoky flavor. I think it was the original flavor in barbecue sauce back when they started it. Southwest. A chipotle pepper is a ripened jalapeno pepper, the red ones, that have been smoked and dried and then reconstituted, which intensifies their flavor and the bite. So there it is. What I do is I keep a jar of this in the refrigerator and I add it to soups and sauces and all kinds of things. Another thing, and this actually will keep in your refrigerator for a long, long time. Another thing I like to make with this is chipotle mayonnaise. Uh, you've probably seen this in some restaurants as a, as a condiment. It's the uh, sandwich spread from hell. It's really good. All right. I'm using a vegan mayonnaise, your favorite one, whichever. Then just take a whisk and whisk it in there. I like mine really, really spicy, but you can start with the mayonnaise, add a little bit at a time and taste it, make sure it's not too hot for you. Bear in mind that when you put it on a sandwich, it's going to be a little bit less spicy when you add all the other things, but to each his own. I like it nice and hot. There you have it. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this. You can get this recipe and many more in my book, Speed Vegan. The beauty of this book is you'll be able to make anything in 30 minutes or less, and it'll be beautiful, it'll be tasty, and even your non-vegan friends will love it. At the best bookstores in town, look for it.